Hey guys, welcome to the Megawatts van. Uh, my name is Watson. I'm uh, the Watts of Megawatts, and we have Muñeca here. Uh, we got Toto Santos and Poppy, and our uh, trusty mode of transportation, Osa Blanco. Uh, she is a 2012 uh, Freeliner Sprinter uh, with an aftermarket front end conversion on it uh, that gets us to beautiful spots like this. We can drive on the beach um, and pretty much have no bounds. Um, so just a couple little specs on the outside of the van. Um, we have some uh, all-terrain tires, and this front-end conversion is based off of Ford F2 slash F350 uh, Super Duty front-end conversion with this solid beam front axle, which is different from the 4x4 sprinters you see coming out of the factory, uh, which have CV joints and whatnot. Uh, we won't get too technical, so we'll just go do a quick little rundown of the outside. Uh, we got uh, our luminous front light bar, uh, which holds our um, uh, LED bar, uh, high beam and low beam. That kind of helps for uh, night driving. Um, we don't do much of that down here in Baja, but it definitely helps. We definitely use it a lot. And um, as you can see the clearance under there. Um, got plenty of clearance. It's a long wheelbase, 170. Uh, this is the mid-size. It has the Bluetech uh, V6 engine. We get about 16 miles to the gallon. Uh, a lot of torque. Um, diesels are great. Uh, have no problem. Love them. And um, yeah, so we have the luminous light bar, and then we have the luminous roof rack up there. Um, and if you can see, uh, we mounted our solar panels up front. We had a luminous. I sent them specs for the solar panels, and they put a. Um, built a custom little rack up there and they fit perfectly in there. So we have two uh, 100 watt solar panels um, and that runs our entire electrical system uh, hooked in through a uh, drilled uh, hole through the roof. Um, and then for our cooking and our heating, uh, we have a Manchester tank, uh, propane tank under here, um, 6.8 gallon. Um, and I mounted that myself that seems daunting, but running propane lines and flaring stuff, it's pretty easy. Um, and then for our ventilation, we got this as a cargo vent. It had a bulkhead. Uh, they were using it for like transporting speakers or something for sound equipment. So we had to add some windows. We had uh, this per uh, HEHR is the brand. I had Sportsmobile out of Indian, uh, Indianapolis or Indiana put them in. Um, after the fact, I probably could have done it, but we have one window for the bathroom. Um, and we have decided to put these awning windows in so when it rains we can keep it open these go over the bed. In conjunction with the fantastic fan, we have great ventilation, no problems with heat. Um, then here for the, uh, the rear suspension, we uh, white feather added an extra leaf spring in. I put some airbags on um, and we have the uh, BFG TAKO 275-7017s. Um, Rear, we have an aluminum rear rack that I got so we could get the swing away. So that holds uh, two five gallon jugs of water and a five gallon thing of uh, gas, whatever you want, some extra stuff on top. Um, we have our uh, inflatable kayaks, a tent in here. Uh, here's our van tech ladder that gets us up to the top. Most of the time we have these open, but we're heading on down to Loretto. You know, sometimes the supplies run out. Um, so that's that. I mean, geez, what a better view. Hey, it's Megawatts. Coming to you from the Sea of Cortez. I'm going to give you guys a tour around the inside. We're going to start with the bathroom. It's also duals when it's down. This is a countertop. You can do a lot of prep work for cooking and stuff. The latch opens it. Get right in. So we have a nature's head composting toilet. Um, we fill it with peat moss. It decomposes. We can usually just dig a hole and dump it. So you can come in. You can sit right here. It's also duals as our shower. The shower head's right here. Um, we do have hot water. It's located right under the uh, galley. Um, so yeah, so you typically close this up, 
We have a shower curtain right here. Comes in, there's lots of snaps to make sure it doesn't leak out. Because if it does, Watson gets very grumpy. So it closes up and snaps right over here. Otherwise, you can do your business right here with a great view. Up. Move on to the closet. This is one of the things since when we moved from the van again that I told Watson that I needed. This comes in handy. So we keep a lot of our cold weather gear in here, um, some of our shirts that need to be hung up, some storage with some bathroom stuff, obviously some dog kibble. Then we have our fridge. It's an isotherm. It runs off solar power. Works really well. It's very messy. <laughs> we keep our pots and pans here. We have our galley um, that has lots of food storage under it, snacks, um, the junk drawer with a little bit of everything. So we come here. We have the sink and the burners. So these are two propane burners. The propane's located under the van. Um, and then this has hot water. You can hear the hot water heater click on. It usually takes just a couple seconds for it to heat up. And right here we have our water filter. So we get all of our drinking water right from there. We have a magnetic strip that has done really well while we drive. Everything typically stays right on there. Yeah, that's about it. All right, here we have the control panel. Um, this is all run off of the uh, house battery system. I decided to put everything all together to kind of make it easy. It's right next to the couch um, and kind of see what everything's going on. Um, so in the upper left-hand corner here, we have the sea level two tank monitor. Um, this tells us various metrics, uh, battery voltage, our fresh water percentage, we're at 75%. Um, I don't have the gray or the black tanks hooked up. Um, so we have a composting toilet and I also have the LPG so we have 62% of our LPG tank. Um, we have our IPN Pro Remote here. This is a, our battery monitor solar system set up. Um, so right now we're at 13.6 volts plus 2.2 amps. Um, that's okay for this time of day. Um, and then we have our battery relay light. Uh, that's whether the, the batteries are connected, the house and the starter battery. Um, and then we have a carbon monoxide and propane gas detector. That's just to be safe. Uh, you know, stuff can be pretty dangerous. Um, then we have our Magnum remote control for our inverter. Uh, we turn that on to um, create AC out of DC. Um, then we have our AC um, outlets right here. Uh, we have our Propex space heater remote. Um, this is mounted under the floor. Um, that creates a good bit of heat. We have a, a little solar blanket thing that we put over here to kind of cut the space down. And here are our 10 switches. So we have um, front four LED lights. Uh, we've got those from, um, got most of our LED lights from um, superbrightleds.com. We got the back four here that are currently on. Uh, we have some spots here. We have some um, LED strips. Accent lighting uh, is nice. We have various. Uh, other strips up up top um, that we can get crazy with. Uh, maybe I went a little overboard, um, but that's kind of it. Then we just have a little photo album, bulletin board thing. Um, and then here we have the fantastic fan. Uh, I don't know how we did without this in the van again, um, but turn it on, it goes out, goes in, um, and it keeps everything kind of cool with the, with the windows that we have behind you. We get a lot of cross ventilation and uh, yeah, that's it. Coming to you from Megawatts' living room, dining room, breakfast nook, uh, our pretty much one and only room uh, here in the Megawatts van, Oso Blanco. Um, this is our centerpiece here, our table that we do our computer work on, our reading, our eating, um, books, checking out maps, you name it. Um, and this is three quarter inch um, solid, I believe, birch, uh, done by my friend out in Brooklyn. Um, at Mighty Mallet, um, does some really nice stuff. So then this is on a marine pedestal post mount that's gas pressurized, um, that locks with these two nice hinges here. Uh, so the gas pressure helps it lift up. Um, so we're gonna put it down to bed mode. And pretty much just press right on the post. So 
Sometimes the cushions like to get like to get caught in there. So that's pretty easy. Just takes a little effort. We all wish we had a dedicated bed, but you know, when you have such a small space, you can't do that. So uh, under the passenger side, uh, we have 28 gallons of storage, of water storage um, that fits right underneath here. You can see right in there. Um, we're at 34% right now, so what have we got? About eight, nine, 10 gallons. Not sure about the math. We have a uh, SureFlow pump here um, that runs about 50 PSI, uh, three gallons per minute. That does our whole system. Um, I use PEX piping um, with little crimp, crimp attachments. We have two water filters here. We got one sediment filter, um, 0.5 micron, I think. Uh, drinking water filter, 0.1 micron. Uh, carbon block gets out anything uh, that we throw at it. Um, and then we have just have a little bit of storage here, our towels, whatnot. So when that's full, um, that weight equ that almost equates to uh, the batteries we have here. So that was my decision on where putting what where. Um, we have a reflectix material here that's usually used for if it's really sunny, really hot, or really cold. Uh, it covers all the windows, or if we're trying to stealth camp, or Rambo camp as some of you like to call it. Um, just ran a backpack in here, got a thermal blanket in here for when we use our heater. Um, we have a Magnum energy uh, inverter in there, 1000 watt um, inverter that will take our shore power to charge our batteries or create uh, 110 volt uh, AC uh, right here. Uh, we have our Blue Sky um, energy uh, solar controller. This basically controls the amount of voltage and amps that's coming from the solar panels into the battery and monitors the battery temperatures. Um, and those are two uh, Lifeline AGM um, batteries, six volt, 300 amps, ran in a series that equals 12 volts, um, gives us 150 amp hours of usable, usable capacity. Um, that pretty much powers everything from our isotherm fridge uh, to all of our lights, our uh, trusty little Streamlight flashlight. Um, yeah, so that's all of our electrical. And then when we want to go sleepy sleepy, which is uh, Baja Midnight, if you guys have heard that phrase, come down here, you'll hear about it pretty soon. Uh, just undo some snaps here, take these pads, and some of you asked, where did we get these pads? Uh, I had this these custom made at an upholstery shop in uh, Hampton Bay's Long Island. Nice guy. Sinclair's upholstery. Snap those in. Then we have that sheet under there. We have a blanket. And we have basically, it's bigger than a full, almost a queen. And about uh, in the center, we did a concave. So we have about 78, 79 inches here and about uh, 75 over here. So, ready to take a nice uh, day nap after a couple too many beers. Snooze on out.